Hello, my Taurus. Welcome back. All right, so let's go ahead and take a peek into you and see what messages I can pick up on. This is a general reading. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, so let's peek into you, shall we? I do see that there will be some sort of reunion here. It feels like a happy reunion. There could be like gifts or some sort of, I don't know. It just feels like a pleasant exchange. You will be re re reuniting with someone. I feel as if you've known this person for a while. I don't, it could be friend, family, love. Um, I just feel that you will... You get along well, and you're going to be happy to see them. A lot of you will experience, or actually, okay, you could be experiencing it now, or you did experience a financial conflict or feeling of defeat. Something might have depleted you or kind of caused an issue. Um, like you felt this, whatever it was. But I, I, I'm getting like whatever this defeat or conflict um, it was that you experienced, I'm getting success after that. So you enduring and going through, it's, it seems like you might have to put in some time or some work into whatever it is that happens because it'll be different for everyone. I feel like it has some significance financially, but take out resonates. Uh, you know, it's going to be a setback or it was, but you will have success and growth. Actually, the setback was meant for you to kind of go a different direction in some way and connect because I feel like what you were, Taurus, whatever this was that you were trying to make happen before something wasn't like complete or it wasn't the right company or person or it wasn't the right connection it just wasn't quite right so the universe had to actually kind of set you back to put you in a different direction where you will have success so for however that however that goes you will and on this new <laughs> I'm so cryptic it's it sounds so broad but uh, Whatever new avenue that you're working towards and putting effort into, I feel like a better partnership with you. That's why, and you might not have understood for years why something happened the way that it did. But it's going to start to make sense for you, uh, Taurus. Somehow feels like you're nearing, you know, the goal that you're working, working for. I do also see... And for those of you that are connecting with someone, I see good energy in regards to partnership. I feel um, the energy feels nice right now. There could be a little bit of lack of understanding each other emotionally, perhaps. You and whoever it is that you're with or you're thinking about. But I do feel that there is genuine mutual love. Here. The, the energy for love feels actually uh, genuine to me for the Taurus energy right now, for those of you that are connecting with someone. If not, you will be presented uh, the universe. If you if you are not connecting with anyone, Taurus, uh, the universe will bring you someone. You will meet them at night time and you will not see this coming. So that's for those of you that don't, you know. Don't have anyone you're connecting with. I do feel good energy coming in in regards to emotions and love. Potential for partnership. Yeah, Venus coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Finance. So this sounds kind of weird, but for some of you, financial obstacles or distractions could have blocked a partnership or, or caused, you know, delays in some sort of way. Okay. So universe, connect me with the energy for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Show me what zodiac signs could be relevant to Taurus in this time frame. What zodiac signs? Zodiac signs are relevant to Taurus. <clears throat> Taurus, okay, see, you're really focusing on you might be actually communicating or working on communication or some sort of 
You might be working on something. Communication, electricity, or technology is what I'm picking up on for whatever reason. Seems like you're working and whatever you're you're communicating, whatever you're doing, whatever you're implementing, you you're you have to do a lot of talking for whatever reason in this time frame. Now, uh, the only other energy that popped up was Leo. So some of you, a Leo could be relevant. I'm getting fire and then Pluto here. Pluto. Oh. Pluto is technically Scorpio energy, but I'm getting some sort of great change or something being with the fire. It feels like burned between you and an energy that you could be kind of not speaking to or because with Pluto, Pluto is death. Pluto is the faraway planet. Somebody may be retreating from you or you are you're kind of this is like i'm getting like a going ghost type type of energy i don't know who per se but it could be a thing all right let's go ahead let's see what other messages i can pick up universe show me what messages do you have for taurus please I'm rising. What's going on for Taurus? What messages do you have? What messages do you have for Taurus, please? Hold on. Too many. Too many, too many. They're just plopping out in like unrealistic globs of cards. Okay. Clear messages, please, for Taurus. There's an emphasis. Okay. Some of you maybe, there could be something about, again, like a reunion, family gathering. I see you kind of, Taurus, you seem to be going back to the past or something possibly could be uh, a, an event could tr can I have you in this nostalgic energy here with the Six of Cups, Ten of Cups? Now, it is interesting, though, because the Seven of Wands and the Six of Cups also came out together. And I'm feeling like there is something from the past that you're battling here. And you're on it, Seven of Wands. I mean, he's got a lot of energy. He's just swinging. He's fighting off. But there is something about the past that you're still battling or you're still dealing with. Uh, this could make you kind of defensive with those in the present. Four of Pentacles and Two of Cups. You might be a little bit blocked or uh, harder to open up, even with some people that you care very deeply for. I feel you holding on or somebody's holding on here. Uh, two of Cups and Four of Pentacles. This is holding on to a soulmate or somebody that you care about. But not being extremely holding on, but not being very open either. So somebody here is taking on that energy, whether this is you or the person that you're, you're two of cups. The other half of this, uh, clarify this four of pentacles and the two of cups for Taurus. So many cards pop out. There's like, it's, the universe feels very long winded in regards to you. Okay. You, six of Swords and the Three of Cups. You're, you're moving forward. You're definitely focusing on the future, the planning. You might be wanting to go towards someone here. Um, some of you may be traveling or I don't know. I'm just feeling like you wanting to go. Six of Swords, Three of Cups. You're wanting to go towards someone or wanting to go somewhere. I feel that you will do this, but you might have to kind of, there's some element, the Magician, Ace of Swords and making it happen. Having clarity on how to move something forward, how to get it rolling again. I see once that you do with this Ace of Swords, once you understand, once it becomes clear. But with the Judgment and the Tower, some there. Uh, 
feels like something is going to fall apart here. There will be a choice and with the tower, but it's interesting judgment and the t there's a choice made, but it feels as if the universe there, there, the choice has to be made because the universe is kind of bringing something down. This is Saturn karma. Saturn and then uh, and then Scorpio energy here. Very fixed. So this cannot be stopped. This is very fixed energy. These are two cards that, that are ruled by fixed energies. You may may you may have to make a hard choice, or somebody has to make a choice to let something completely go. Uh, it's interesting because like I said, this can't be stopped. So the universe may give you an option to choose, but if you do not, it will do it for you. But I feel as if it will be much more messy that way or whoever I'm talking about, but, uh, or a situation you're involved in, if this is not you directly, but the Magician and the Ace of Swords, I think, again, you're going to kind of understand the role you have to play and where you, like, the Magician knows that he can make it happen. The Magician manifests. He can, but being clear on what you have to do is what it seems like. Whatever this is, you're going to suddenly, it's like, I, because you might be not quite satisfied with the with what you're currently or what what was being invested in or how it was going. I'm feeling a lack of emotional connection in some area, and you're really going to start to think about that or realize. But the realization that you come to in the situation will help you move forward. You might have to emotionally disconnect and think logically here about like, okay, well, I'm putting effort into this. I'm putting time, money, resources, but what, what am I getting back out of it? Am I getting anything? Am I getting four pentacles? Am I getting less than I'm putting in? Or what? And I think this is what the universe is kind of trying to give you clarity on so you can make a choice before it makes it for you, if that makes sense. A lot of you, I feel like the universe will kind of... I don't know. Let me not say that. I was going to say, I feel like they're going to make it for you, but you never know. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. You might start to stand more independently in a particular area. And I feel that you will do better that way. You're going to feel more emotionally fulfilled the more independent you are. You might kind of, in those around you, there could be more of a battle than anything. So you might start to kind of like do things a little bit more independently if you can. So... Could be a lot going on for you at this time frame as well. I don't really know. You know what's interesting is I can't feel confused what I was talking about that entire time. So um, that will be relevant with that Ace of Swords. It will become clear to you when it happens. So some of you might not, because I feel like I didn't understand what I was saying. Some of you might not quite until the universe brings in that tower judgment energy. All right, that's what I have for you. Bye-bye.